Hey, what's up guys? It's Brandy and I have been so excited to make this video, but also like a little anxious because I know y'all are going to judge me and I'm, I'm, I'm ready for the judgment. But this video today is going to be my reaction slash ranking, I guess, of the new Iceland Kills album, Welcome to Horrorwood. I'm going to precursor this with every freaking song on this album is a banger. So it was really hard for me to rank them. And I specifically gave myself like a week's time to like really listen to the album and really delve into each song. Because obviously I, I know I had a little bit of bias towards the singles because I had more time with them to listen to them and love them. So I wanted to give that fairness to the other songs on the album so that I could make a moderately accurate list here. However, if you guys that listen to music are anything like me, my favorites change all the time. So this list is tentative for right now of how I feel, but I'm sure in a month's time it's going to be like a totally different list and the songs that might have been lower on the list could be higher and vice versa, or I'll get tired of the ones that are higher up. So this is going to be my tentative list, ranking all of the songs on Welcome to Horrorwood. So first off, we're going to start with Opening Night. This song is not really a song. It's just kind of like an introduction to the album. So I'm not going to even put it in this list. So that one, we're just going to get that out of the way. I'm going to go from my least favorite to my favorite. So I'm going to do the rankings over here. So we're going to start with number 13, Take Your Pick. Now, this song is based on My Bloody Valentine. I like the concept. But the reason it gets the lowest vote is because it's just too heavy for me. I'm not a fan of really heavy vocals. I don't really love the like guttural screams and growls for the majority of the song. I like to sing to the song and jam out. And when the vocals are really aggressive, it's not my particular cup of tea. Now, I don't think this song is a bad song. The parts where Spencer is actually giving us clean vocals is really nice. And I like it. And the chorus is good. But the amount of clean vocals is like only 20 seconds of the song. So it wasn't enough for me to like really get into this song. So I'm not gonna lie, this is the one that I skip over the most when it comes on rotation. So therefore it gets my last pick. Number 12, this was tough. 12 and 11 are pretty much on par with each other. And 12 is a rash decision. This one is based on Cabin Fever. I think it has really good like hints at making like linking it to the movie which I really love that Ice Line does with pretty much every song on this album they really let you know which movie that they are getting inspiration for the song from and I think they did with this but again this one's a little heavy at parts I don't think it's nearly as catchy as some of the other ones so it's a song that I like but it's not always at the top of my list of like I need to put this song on so it's good but it takes the number 12 spot for that reason Next one, number 11, is Worst Vacation. This one's based on Hostel. I actually really, the chorus to this is fire. It's so good. It's so catchy. The song itself, I like a lot. I like that they add in the voices and the elements to give you the Hostel type feel. And I really appreciate that. But again, some of the vocals are a little heavier. And outside of the chorus, it's just like, an okay song. I don't think it's the best, but it's not bad either. So that's why it gets 11. It's kind of on par with Rash Decision. They're both good songs, but not like my favorites from the album. Now is where it got hard. This middle chunk, every song is like really good. And it was very hard for me to pick which ones to order. So this is the tentative order. Disagree with me, if you will, because I will probably disagree with me in a month's time. Number 10, we got Welcome to Horrorwood. This song is just like the introduction to the album. It's not based off of anything, as far as I know. And the song is a bop. It took me quite a few listens to like really like it. So that's the only reason I'm putting it down so far, because it wasn't one that I heard once and was like, yo, ugh, I'm here for it. So it took a little bit to get into it, but I do like it. I like that they actually put a song in that's not necessarily based off of a horror movie, but it's their introduction to like this is all of the horror movies kind of so i really like that about this song and uh then we go on to number nine this was hard for me so nine i put feral the flesh this one is based on Candyman. honestly i really freaking like this song so 
it's kind of tied with like eight, seven, six. Like they're all kind of just like I really like them all, and I know the ordering of them is gonna change. But this one I like a lot. I like again how well you know what the song is off of just listening to it. Like you could listen to this song and you would know it's Candyman. He also says Candyman like twenty times, so that's besides the point. But he just has so many good homages to the franchise, which I really, really like. It's also just super catchy, and it just, ah, it's so good. It's so good. We're going to go on to eight, the box. If you can't figure out what that is, it's Hellraiser. This one's also really good, and again, so many good homages to the the Hellraiser franchise and to Pinhead and everything, and it's got some, like, kind of dirty lines in there because it suits Pinhead, which I really like. I like that they're, like, really getting into it. And the chorus on this is also just so... It's so good. So there's that one. And then seven, we've got Funeral Derangements. I really... This song, when it first came out, I was like, I'm not sure if I like this. It was a little aggressive. You know, the first note is... You know, Spencer just, like, screaming in your face. So it's a little aggressive, but after a lot of listens, I was like, yo, this song is fire. It's really good. I really like it. I might be a little biased because I thought the video for it was fan-freaking-tastic, but this song is really good. It's, again, on par with, like, the couple that are around it. They did a great job. Oh, side note, it's based off Pet Cemetery. Sorry I left that part out if you haven't. Watch the video. It's based on Pet Cemetery. I'm a little biased for it's Stephen King, so I liked that they were giving some homages to him. I'd like to see more of that. I know they did The Shining on Silver Scream. I might do a ranking for that album too. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like me to rank The Silver Scream and my top favorites from that one because oh, that album's so good. And then next up six, we have The Shower Scene. Again, very easy to guess what that's on. That's Psycho. This one, I ranked it so high because I really... I like all of the elements of it. If you really listen to the lyrics, it's it's just so good. It's so explaining what happens within Psycho without explaining what happens within Psycho. Like, all of the stuff. Like, it really feels like Norman Bates is the one singing this song about the motel and his mother and everything. And I really like that. I just thought it was really clever. I love when they add like sounds and audio directly from the movie essentially. And they do that, you know, with the shower scene and the, the sound and the, you know, the noise. I'm not gonna try to make that sound cause it's not coming out of my body, but so good. Really, really like this song. It's not the most catchiest of them, but I just appreciate the song so much, which is why I put it so high. Next, for number five, we have Assault and Batteries. So this song actually took a little bit to grow on me, and then I ended up loving it. I, I'm not a huge fan. It's based on Chucky. I'm not a huge fan of Chucky, but I think this song is one of the top on the album that they did the best in emulating the movie that it was based after between the noises, the different voices, all the different just additions to it. If you've seen the video, they go hard with it. And that ultimately made me put this song a lot higher. After a couple listens, I really just was like, oh, this is just so good. Like, I think the them trying to be as accurate as possible with giving, you know, enough insight into what movie this is they just knocked it out of the park with this one that is what ultimately made me rank it so high next up we have fly the song is based on the fly it's i'm not familiar with the source material uh i'm not gonna lie to you i think i've seen it like once like forever ago or i've just seen portions of it so i'm not super familiar with the movie itself but this song is just so uh like, I'm literally singing it in my head right now, and I've been singing in my head for, like, half of this video that I've already recorded, because it's just so good. The chorus is good. The... Everything about it is just really catchy. It's a song that I have been putting on repeat since the album came out. I really, really like it. It could even potentially go higher up on this list the more I listen to it, but for now, it gets the number four spot. 
Number three is the absolute banger, Ex Mortis. This song is so good. It's based on Evil Dead, so I'm already a little biased because I freaking love Evil Dead. And I honestly, when I first listened to it, I didn't know what movie it was based off of. And honestly, I didn't need to look it up because if you listen to the song, it's he does uh, just like the whole vibe of this song is so good. It's got that like kind of like cheesy but like whimsically spookiness that Evil Dead has because Evil Dead is you know it's cheesy Ashley Williams is ridiculous but I love him and honestly I almost put this as my like number two number one just for the fact that they say groovy in the song but there's so many like little tidbits of stuff that they say as homages to the Evil Dead series and it's just literally so freaking catchy. I don't know why they didn't make this one of their singles. Because, like, I think this would have gone over so well. I mean, the, the singles that they put out were really good. But if they're going to have another video come out next month on the 9th, I want it to be this song. 100%. And number two is Hip To Be Scared. I, I'm definitely biased because I really like American Psycho, which is what this is based off of. I also... I am obsessed with Papa Roach, and this has Jacoby Shaddix in it for Papa Roach, so I already was like, I'm gonna love this song. But it's also just so clever, it's so good, they have so many good lines from American Psycho in this song. It, I think Spencer and the whole band really outdid themselves with this song. The video is fantastic, the song is fantastic, it's kind of a different vibe than the other songs on the album, as well as their other songs in the past which makes me really appreciate it that they took kind of a different direction with it. And I ain't gonna lie, when I first listened to the song, I was kind of like, Ugh. it's a little weird. Like, this doesn't sound like Ice Nine. But the more I listened to it, the more I was like, I don't give a fuck. This song is so good. So good. So it got my number two spot. But honestly, that one and Ex Mortis could flip-flop back and forth. They're so good. And number one, y'all might hate me, but it's Rainy Day. And the reason it's Rainy Day is, first off, this song is probably the most radio-friendly one on the album. And I feel like they did it on purpose. If you didn't watch my Rainy Day review, it's up there. I'll put it in the thing. But I feel like it's most radio-friendly, and they did that on purpose because it's Resident Evil, and they wanted to appeal to an audience outside of maybe their normal fan base. But it's just so... Ugh, it's so good. I also love 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 rise and evil i'm a streamer i'm a video gamer so the fact that they did an homage to it is a horror movie franchise but it's a horror game franchise over anything else first of all and the little side notes that link it to rise and evil but then link it to just gaming in general the video is really good zombies are just awesome so like who doesn't like zombies and everything about this song literally when the song came out, by the end of the day, I knew every single word in this song by heart. Because I listened to it so much. It uh, it hasn't faltered for number one since it came out. It Hip To Be Scared was my number one for a while. Rainy Day overtook it. Ex Mortis has a good chance of moving up the ranks as I listen to it more. But right now, that is my tentative list. I know a lot of you probably are going to disagree with that, especially if you have different music tastes than me. As I said, you know, I don't like the heavier vocals as much. I I more want heavier acoustics rather than heavier vocals. So anybody that obviously has a different preference is going to have a much different list than I do, and it's probably going to be completely flopped. But that is my take on it. I know you guys were asking me, to respond to each of the songs individually. I'm probably just going to do when the videos come out, I'll do reactions to those because responding to each song is going to take a century and a half and this video is already too long. So I'm going to leave it at this. If you guys agree with my list, let me know down below. If you think that things should change or maybe I should give a song another lesson if I didn't rank it high enough, let me know as well. And put your list down below if you have listened to the album and you freaking love it like I do. Because I would love to see your guys' opinions and kind of compare a little bit. So let me know. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the love on my last Ice Nine Kills video. I'll put that up there as well. You guys are fantastic. So thank you for that. And that's it for me for today. I will catch you guys in the next video. So 
Peace out and fair rinse, my dudes. Bye, guys!